Hello guys, my name's Dave and we're back with another tutorial. Um, today it's going to be in Cinema 4D and it's going to be how to like make a Minecraft render. I'm not sure what the video title is going to be at, but you'll obviously know. So the first thing what you want to do is download um, a skin. I'll show you the ones I use now. It's by Weed Lion. There's a free one and a paid one. So I'll just copy what I'm doing there. There'll be a link in the in the description to this anyway so you wanna go on this page and it'll be free Steve, Steve rig or the paid one I got the paid one but you can obviously download the free one if you want and whatever so just click on whatever one you want and then you can get the paid one by or same thing for the other one so once you've got that you get a little like white file well that's what it is for me once you've got that file Go into computer, windows, program files, max on, cinema 4D, and then where is it, library, browser, and then just drag her into there and you can see mine is by, well it's by there, so just click the X then, and then open up cinema 4D, but mine's already open, and then what you want to do is go up here to window, Content browser, Steve Rig. Yours will, yours might be like this. So just go down, find Minecraft Steve by Weed Lion, and then just double click it, and that'll come up. So just double click on the one that you want. So this is mine, and you can either leave it like this, or you can put your own skin on it. So you need to download your own skin. I've already downloaded mine. So there's mine. That's the new 1.8 one, but we're gonna use this one. So, use the older skin, and then click on open, and I just click yes. So there he is. And now, I don't want the eyes or the eyebrows, because these blue bits are supposed to be my eyes. So I'm going to go down here. I don't want the mouth either, because my, my character I'm got a mouth. So I'm going to untick all these. I don't want any of them. It might be different for you. And then, if you've got a hat, I just want to tick this. And there's my hat. So, yeah, you can change. You can have one eye if you want. I don't know why you'd want one eye. But you can change a lot of things in the settings down below. There's the, the um, armor, but this looks weird with a the hat. There's a chest piece, so it'll keep, we'll keep that on and the boots on for now. And you can also put a sword or pickaxe or axe, anything really. And then now, we just want to position our, um, like, do a sort of pause or something. So I'll click on this plus thing there, and go on controls, then AK controls. Then arms and feet. So you want to move your right arm. Just click on right arm. And then, just use this. You can use the rotate tool up there as well, to slightly rotate it. So, I'm just going to position it just randomly for now. Ooh, that looks a bit weird. So if I do him like if do it like if he's blocking or something. Don't know where he's blocking from, but so it's just, yeah, it's a bit fiddly. It is. I still am more used to. It. So ooh, just right click on the arm. But it's the same thing for everything then. So you can move it up a little bit. So he looks like if he's moving a little bit. You don't have to do it at this pose, obviously, you can play about with it. So right foot. What I normally do is just bring him up and either forward for one. And with the other one, just bring it up a little bit, but a little bit less and bring it back. So it looks like if he's kind of walking. You don't have to be perfect, obviously. Uh, that'll, that'll do I think. But then once you've got this and you've customised it however you want. If you click the render view, the preview it'll look like that. But we want to add some lights just to give it a bit bit more of an effect. So you can click on this light by there. Hold down click that. Or you can just click it. So then you want to just rotate a bit with this tool up there. Then bring the light forward. 
You can get light rooms as well if you just type in on YouTube for light rooms. So I'm gonna put mine over in the distance over there. And then I'm gonna put another one just a little bit further behind him. All the way over there. I think that should look too well, that shouldn't look too bad. Yeah that looks that looks alright. Uh, as I said it's better with the light room. But what you want to do as well is go into the settings and you can change the width however you want, but this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I always use. So that's I think that's alright. Yep. And just play on current frame because you do wanna render out loads of different frames. And what I do, I turn it into a PNG so I can put backgrounds behind it when I put it into Photoshop. So click on Alpha Channel, and then go on Format, and then find PNG. The plunge. And that, it's probably there. Options is nothing really in there, so don't bother clicking on that. Then save it. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Just going to put it as skin. Ooh, that's skimming. Skin. Click Save. Don't really need to fiddle about with any of these things. But, well, not that one anyway. Go on anti analyzing. You could leave it at, at that, but if you put it on best and then just leave it like that, just copy my settings, that should be alright. But obviously, this will slow down your render time, but it doesn't take too long anyway. So now there's nothing in options or nothing else. But you do want to add two effects ambient occlusion and global illumination. So you can click on the Radiance Cache on Global Illumination and just put it on Medium if it's not already there. Or you can change it to Low. That will speed up your render time. Renderer. <laughs> your render time a bit. So I'm just going to keep mine on Medium. Though. Then you can just click on the X and now if we preview it, it should look slightly better. But obviously, like I said, it's going to render a bit longer. So it's going to probably freeze my screen, but it always does not. And it should be there. Yeah, there you go. So with mine, the um, eyes go a bit funny. I don't know why. Normally I just edit that in Photoshop and just colour them in. But that looks a lot better, as you can see. So now just click the middle one, and it'll render out to wherever you saved it. You can scroll out to zoom and just watch your render if you really want to watch your render. Uh, again, like I said, it might not show up on my screen recorder, which I don't think it is. It's probably just froze. Oh, there it is. So, now you got your Minecraft set render thingy. That's what I call mine anyway, Minecraft skin renders. So now, if I get it up there, there it is. It's simple as that. So, that went too long, I don't think. So, if you enjoyed the video and want more tutorials like these, um, subscribe or like or anything really yeah so if you enjoyed oh, I said that already okay shut up I hope you're having all a good day I hope you're all, oh my god I'm messing up no I hope you've all had a good day and I'll see you in the next video